we go, page 58. Um, and they're going for the bath. For the second time, Tony pressed the button of the warning buzzer to prepare the passengers in the long cabin at their back. Now for it, yelled Captain Clifford. Brace! The constellation hit the lagoon as if it had come into contact with solid concrete. The giant plane skidded forward, shuddering from stem to stem, with the great bow waves arcing up high above the cabin windows. Bodies were pressed forward into safety belts and then back again into foam cushion seats. That's not so bad, that bit. As if by invisible hands, as the plane began to rise again smoothly and evenly. Wow. The first stage of Captain Clifford's Ducks and Drake's manoeuvre had been successfully accomplished. Now, would the bounce be high enough to clear the rocky barrier and reach the gently sloping beach beyond it? Five pairs of eyes watched the jagged teeth of rocks. Five pairs of eyes. Five pairs of eyes. Watched the jagged teeth of rocks seemingly racing to meet the, meet the plane in a fascinated stare. No word was spoken. For a terrible moment, a head-on crash into the rocky headland seemed to be inevitable. Then it seemed as if the fates took pity on them and with invisible giant hands drew the rocky barrier down into the lagoon out of the giant plane's pathway. Ba -boom, ba -boom. Captain Clifford eased the stick gently forward back to one stick again. With down-tilted ailerons. Ailerons? No idea. The constellation began its gentle descent to its last resting place. That, that sounds tragic. Now it was a yellow beach and feathery coconut palms that were tiding, riding, sorry, smoothly up to meet her. So skillfully did Captain Clifford surrender his charge into its embracing arms that nothing more than a shudder, like a sigh of relief, ah, trembled the giant plane as it came to rest with its nose pressed against a slender palm. Which, and then because we're at the end of the chapter and it's only a little bit, here's page 60 as well. It's a treat. So up again. Which shed, oh, which said, so up against the tree, boom, boom, which shed its ripe coconuts down on it from its feathery fronds like welcoming tears. Boom, 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 boom. So, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. That's the, that's the soundscape for that. Um, before the last coconut had thudded down onto the cowling in front of the flight deck, Tony Luckworth had unclasped his safety belt. Nice work, Skipper, he cried. Permission to leave flight deck. Roger, permission granted, retorted Captain Clifford with a sympathetic smile. Well... Can you believe it? They have, they have done it. They have bounced. They have soared. They've had a few coconuts thrown down upon them. They've shuddered and trembled a bit in, in quite an interesting way. They've done it. 